Hello everybody, you are watching the channel Learn to Earn for Life. Let us derive the power angle equation for a salient pole synchronous machine. A salient pole machine has a, a number of projecting or salient poles. Hence, the air gap is non-uniform along the rotor periphery. It is least along the axis of the main poles, that is the direct axis, and the maximum along the axis of the interpolar region, that is the quadrature axis. Hence, flux linkages is non-uniform. Correspondingly, the machine offers a direct axis reactance xd and the quadrature axis reactance xq for the flow of armature current. A circuit model of the machine cannot be easily drawn here. But however, the phasor diagram of the machine neglecting its armature resistance can be shown here. You can observe the phasor diagram for a salient pole synchronous machine. Some assumptions let E at an angle delta is a generated voltage in the machine. V at an angle 0 degree is the voltage at the infinite bus bar which is taken as a reference. Delta is the load angle or torque angle or power angle. XD is the synchronous reactance of the machine. XQ is the quadrature axis re synchronous reactance. XE is the reactance of the transmission line. And I is the current delivered at lagging power factor of cos phi. Referring to the phasor diagram, we can write the expression for the power developed as P is equals to V cos delta IQ plus V sin delta ID. Also, referring the figure we can write that by the observation IQ XQ is written as V into sin delta. IQ further can be expre expressed as V sin delta divided by XQ. Again, we can also write ID XD as E minus V cos delta. ID is further expressed as E minus V cos delta whole divided by xd. Using those equations, after the substitution, we can write p is equals to v into e whole divided by xd multiplied by sine delta plus v square into bracket xd minus xq divided by 2xd xq all multiplied by sine 2 delta. By this equation, we can say that there is a fundamental and second harmonic component of power is mentioned in this equation. The first term is the same as the first term you can observe here that is V into E divided by XD multiplied by sine delta is same as for as round rotor machine with XS is equals to XD. And this contributes or the, this constitutes the major part of the power transfer for this machine. And the second term that is v square into xd minus xq divided by 2xd xq multiplied by sine 2 delta that is the second term is quite small that is 10 to 20 percent as compared to the first term and is known as reluctance power. So this is the power angle curve of the machine you can observe power angle curve of the machine. It 
is noticed that the maximum power output triple SL please notice here the maximum power that is triple SL will occur at delta less than 90 degree that is about 70 degrees this value of delta at which the power flow is maximum can be computed by equating the synchronizing power coefficient that is dp by d delta is to zero you can observe here this is the reluctance power the waveform for the reluctance power and this is the major power constituted by the first term this one and this is the resultant power the upper one the bigger one is a resultant power thank you for watching this video for the explanation of the power angle curve of salient pole synchronous machine thank you very much